Hello, I am Bharavi. I am a PhD student at the Institute Center for Data Analytics. I am working with Dr. John McRae and Dr. Mihail Arakan. My PhD thesis is on machine translation of under-resourced languages. Now I'm going to tell about a some scenario where my research will be used. Uh, we, uh, we take a scenario where my friend, Brandon, he speaks only English. He goes to an island uh, where the people speak only Tulu. He travels around the world for the, uh, research as well as work as well as leisure. But when, uh, when he landed on the island, he, he realized nobody speaks English there. Now he's in medical attention, but he finds out that when he goes to the medical center, he couldn't uh, find anybody who speaks English. Even the nurse speaks also the local language. So as everybody else, he takes out his mobile and tried to check out the language for the translation, but he couldn't find the language uh, Tulu. The reason for this is this, a computer program requires millions of examples translations to create a translation systems like Google Translate. But for many languages, it doesn't available. There are around 7,000 languages in the world. Only few languages, like 80 languages, have translation in a very popular Google uh, translation like Google Translate. The reason is, uh, those languages doesn't, recover, doesn't have much resources. So in my research, we try to co combine the languages with the highly resourced languages which are closely related and then we use those resources for creating the translations. So the first step is combining those languages based on the language family. The reason behind is if you speak, if you see as um, Danish, Norwegian and Scandinavian people come together, they can speak to each other without the knowledge of the other language since these all these three languages are close related and they have the same um, uh, language ancestors. But there is a, a, another problem arises for the languages which uses different scripts even though they belong to the same language family. So in our approach, we try to bring them to a single script and then come and then use those all the translation examples from the close related languages and to build the machine translation system. So our, pro our program finally will be able to translate between 7,000 languages of the world languages. So the usage of the of this would be like now Brandon can go anywhere for his work last year and then he, he doesn't need to worry about the language barrier and he can collaborate with many people as many people as possible and he can he doesn't need to worry about the medical attentions for the people in the local language uh, the minority communities they can also be able to collaborate with the world and they can able to use the resources from the other languages uh, with uh, by translating to uh, to their languages and finally the the nurse she can go online shopping and without worrying about the uh, bank details because it is in her own language now she will be able to trust it and she will be able to know what to do without trying to guess thanks